Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about the different Microsoft Windows file systems that are used when formatting storage devices. These file systems are FAT32, XFAT, and NTFS. But before we proceed, I want to first thank IOLO for sponsoring this video with their product System Mechanic Ultimate Defense. Now System Mechanic Ultimate Defense is an all-in-one software tool that delivers performance, protection, and privacy to your computer. With one click, it ensures peak performance by analyzing and repairing system issues. It removes broken window shortcuts and potentially unwanted programs from slowing down your PC's performance. It also increases the speed and performance by enabling Live Boost to better allocate processing power and maximize RAM and system performance. Live Boost increases and better utilizes processor core performance and memory allocation, which can be useful when gaming. System Mechanic Ultimate Defense also has an antivirus with real time protection against viruses, malware, and trojans that detects the newest threats with advanced artificial intelligence. It even protects your privacy and security by using a network scanner. The network scanner discovers vulnerable open ports and connected devices robbing you of network bandwidth. So you can use my link below and download System Mechanic Ultimate Defense today and get 60% off with 30 days of free 24-7 live support by using the promo code POWERCERT. So whenever you get a new storage device, such as a hard drive, SSD, or a flash drive, that drive needs to be formatted with a file system before data can be stored on it. Now some devices, such as flash drives, may already come formatted from the factory, but hard drives and SSDs do not. So what is a file system? Well, a file system provides a way for how data is stored and organized on a storage device. And it has to do this because without a file system, data would just be randomly scattered all over the drive without any organization. And your computer wouldn't know where to find the data it's looking for. But with a file system, the data is in order and neatly organized so your computer knows where to find the data it needs. And the file systems that I mentioned earlier will store data differently, such as inefficiency, compatibility, permissions, and other features. So when you attach a storage device on a Windows computer, you're going to be prompted to format that device using FAT32, XFAT, or NTFS. Now, FAT32 stands for File Allocation Table 32, which was first introduced with Windows 95. And because it's been around for such a long time, it's also the most compatible of the three. So if you have a USB flash drive or an external hard drive, then typically you're going to be attaching those devices to other computers or gaming consoles. So in this case, it's best to format them using FAT32 to ensure compatibility. However, FAT32 does have some limitations. And one of those limitations is file size. The largest individual file size that FAT32 can handle is 4 gigabytes. So if you have a video file that's larger than 4 gigabytes, you're going to get an error stating that the file size is too big and you won't be able to put it on that device. And another limitation is the size of the partition or volume. FAT32 can only support a max partition size of 2 terabytes. So if you have a 4 terabyte drive and you want to format it using FAT32, you're going to have to divide the storage space in half and make two partitions of two terabytes each. And then there's XFAT. Now XFAT stands for Extended File Allocation Table. And XFAT is the latest file system from Microsoft that was introduced in 2006. Now even though FAT32 is still used, XFAT was made as an improvement to the older FAT32. And the major improvement was file and partition size. So where FAT32 has a limit on file and partition size of 4 gigabytes and 2 terabytes respectively, XFAT can support file and partition size limits that are so huge that they are pretty much limitless. However, the downside of XFAT is that it's not as compatible as FAT32. All versions of Windows and other modern operating systems and devices work fine with XFAT, but some older devices and some versions of Linux may not. Now let's talk about NTFS. Now NTFS stands for New Technology File System. 
NTFS became popular after the release of Windows XP and is the default file system used in Microsoft Windows. So if you were to install Windows on your computer, it'll format it using NTFS by default. A major advantage that NTFS has over FAT32 is file and partition size. NTFS, just like XFAT, can support a limitless file and partition size. Another advantage is that it also supports more features than FAT32 and XFAT. So if you were to look at the properties of individual folders in the three different file systems, you will notice that NTFS has two additional tabs, such as security and previous versions. Now security is for setting folder and file permissions. It's where you can either grant or deny user access to the contents of that folder, such as full control, modify, read, and so on. And the other tab is previous versions. Now previous versions are referred to as shadow copies. And shadow copies are just copies of files that Windows automatically saves in a restore point. So if you lost or deleted a file on your computer, you can restore the file using the previous versions tab. And then you would just pick a date to restore the contents of that folder to retrieve the lost file. NTFS also supports other features such as encryption and disk quota limits. However, as good as NTFS is, the major disadvantage is compatibility. NTFS is fully compatible with Windows. However, with Macs and some versions of Linux, they can read NTFS drives but not write to them. So in conclusion, as far as compatibility, FAT32 is just about compatible with everything, XFAT is fully compatible with Windows and with other modern devices and operating systems, and NTFS is only fully compatible with Windows. As far as file and partition size, FAT32 has a limit on both, while XFAT and NTFS are limitless. And as far as usage, FAT32 is good for flash drives, memory cards, and external drives with maximum compatibility. XFAT is also good for the same devices but with limited compatibility. And NTFS is for Windows operating system drives and for devices that are going to be accessed using Windows. And finally, as far as special features, NTFS has security, encryption, disk quotas, and previous versions, while FAT32 and XFAT have none of these. So guys, I want to thank you for watching this video on Windows file systems. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next video.